It's it's very different from a conventional jewelry auction in the sense that it's all costume jewelry. Um, this is the first time that some a seven hundred piece collection from Joseph has come to auction. Um, all the jewelry was worn by different celebrities. Some worn by multiple celebrities. So just buying a piece of this isn't like buying a diamond necklace at Cartier. It's you're actually owning a piece of Hollywood memorabilia. Yeah. Joseph made so much jewelry and he loaned it to the studios. And the, in a sense, that's what made it interesting. One piece of jewelry could have been worn by Vivian Leigh. One could have been worn by Maureen O'Hara. Or some of them were worn by both of them. Um, so what makes it really interesting is that it was all beautifully handmade. Um, he had a special technique of making the jewelry so that it reflected the glare of the, the harsh studio lighting in Hollywood. And that special sauce that he called it is still unknown to anyone. It's still a secret family recipe. So that technique of making jewelry is no longer in existence and everything that you see here is all we're going to have. Vivian Le Gone with the Wind necklace is just gorgeous. It's you know, it's, there's no diamonds on it, but it's a three-stranded necklace with floral decorations. It's, it's a beautiful, girlish, young, just like what she played in Gone with the Wind. Um, obviously, a huge movie meant a lot to a lot of people, so owning a piece of history from that movie and something that's so beautiful and so wearable is really important to people that are, you know, just Hollywood collectors. Um, so we have a gorgeous gold filigree necklace, very intricately made with simulated pearls around it. That was interestingly worn by both Catherine Hepburn as well as Errol Flynn. So it kind of shows that one piece of necklace could be worn by both a male actor and a, and a female actress. It's just really versatile. Just the way he decided how to loan things out to different studios was incredible. A lot of people look at costume jewelry as something that's, you know, it's costume. You know, we don't need to make that much of an effort into the gorgeous intricate designs but he you know it could these could all have been diamonds the way he put the work and the craftsmanship and the interesting soldering soldering and just the way he put the work into it it's it's almost on the same level as fine jewelry